This Let's Edit with MIDI Composer tutorial is brought to you by VideoGuys.com, the leading reseller of video editing and production equipment for more than 25 years. Check out VideoGuys.com for great deals on Avid MIDI Composer software licenses, subscriptions, and upgrades, and use coupon code MC101 for 5% off any purchase. Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I am back again with another Media Composer 101 tutorial. And in the next two lessons, we're going to cover probably the most asked question that I get constantly, all of the time. I must get asked this question a few times a month by email, and that is, what is the difference between consolidation and transcoding? Most people still don't quite get when you use one and when you use the other. And in this lesson, we're going to talk specifically about what is consolidating, how you're going to use it in your workflow, and how it differs from transcoding. Okay, short introduction here. Let's just get into Media Composer and let's get started. Okay, so let's command and tab into Avid Media Composer, obviously an alt and tab for all my Windows friends out there. And we are using the most current version of Media Composer, version 8.4. And let's talk just for a second about what exactly consolidating or consolidation is. Now, we're going to use a couple of straightforward examples, and then I'm going to show you a little bit of a different way that you can sort of wrap your head around consolidating. Now, what's important to keep in mind about the difference between consolidating and transcoding is that 99% of the time, consolidation is going to happen with media that is already in your project. It's already been either digitized, transcoded, or imported, and it lives as physical media as .mxf files in your Avid Media Files folder on your hard drive, and it's nothing that's been linked to. Transcoding is going to be done to clips that don't live in your system. Again, they've been linked to, you might have them in your timeline, you might have them in a bin, and you need to take those clips and actually turn them into physical Avid Media. So again, consolidation is gonna be done to media that's already MXF files in your Avid Media Files folder, Transcoding is going to happen to clips that have been linked to that don't exist as Avid, as actual Avid media. Okay, now consolidation. So let's talk about consolidation at its most basic. So let's actually talk about this. And this is always how I like to describe it when I'm teaching people. Let's talk about consolidation, sort of how you would talk about, let's say, credit card debt as an example. Okay, you always hear these ads on the radio talking about consolidating your debt. What exactly does that mean? Well, let's talk about hypothetically if you had multiple credit cards, let's say five credit cards, and you had money owing on all those credit cards. What the ideal situation is, is to bring all of that debt into one central location so that it's easier to manage and it's easier to deal with. Or you could then take all of that consolidated you know, debt and you could put it somewhere like let's say you, know, you put, put it in you know, a place where you can pay it off much easier. Well, believe it or not, the concept of consolidation in Media Composer works pretty much exactly the same. Now, again, I'm talking about this at its most basic level, and I'm going to use the example of a sequence. Okay, so I've got this sequence here. I only have four shots in it, but let's say hypothetically I had 500 shots in this. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to take this sequence and I wanted to make a copy of it and back it up onto a hard drive. Okay, that we're going to say take and stick on a shelf, because let's say hypothetically, the show is finished. The only thing is, is that I've got media scattered across, let's say, 10 different media drives. And what I want to do, much like that debt, is bring all of this media together into one location, which is going to be this external hard drive that I can then take and stick on a shelf. So I'm basically going to consolidate all that media. I'm going to bring it all together into one location to then do it as I see fit. So how do I go about doing that? Well, in this example, it's actually very easy. All I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to select the sequence. What we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate up to clip and I'm gonna come down to consolidate transcode. Now, of course, you can always simply right click on your sequence and of course, come down to consolidate and transcode. Now you'll see by default, transcode is selected. Now that's not what we want. We want to consolidate. Now, you're gonna notice something a little bit different when we have a sequence selected as opposed to just having a clip selected. If I right click and say, Consolidate Transcode, you'll see the Consolidate window is a little bit different. We're actually missing some options up here at the top. So let's go back to that sequence here. Right click, Consolidate Transcode. Let's go back to Consolidate because what Media Composer is saying is okay. Even though I know that your timeline is locked and of course a producer will never ever or a director will never ever make changes after something's locked, 
maybe you might want to create some handles on either side of every clip that you have in your timeline when we consolidate this. So in case you need to add a dissolve or something like that, we can do that. Now, do you want to also create a new sequence when we consolidate? Normally I do not because I'll just take a copy of the bin and I'll stick it on the drive with the consolidated media. Now, you also have the option to consolidate only linked media if you want to, which we don't want to because everything that, that, is, that is existing right now in the project has already been transcoded, imported, or digitized. Okay. What you could also do if this media was again scattered across multiple hard drives is once it's consolidated onto this new location, you could delete those original media files on all those multiple hard drives to clean things up if you wanted to. You can also skip media. Now we're going to get a little bit more into this in just a second. We can skip native media files already on the target drive and you can relink selective native clips to the target drive before skipping. Now, in most cases, if I had a separate external hard drive attached to my computer, I would simply select it now and I would say consolidate. And of course, we could run this in the background if we wanted to. And what Media Composer would do is it would take a look at my timeline and it would start making copies, not retranscoding and recompressing these files. It would basically take these files and make copies of them with whatever the selected handle length I had is, and it would then take them and copy them onto this separate external hard drive. So no recompression of any media is occurring when I'm doing any consolidating. Of course, if you transcoded, that's much like a video mix down. Every time you do a video mix down, you're recompressing the file, recompressing the file, recompressing the file. The same goes with transcoding, okay? So basically, in our first example, that's consolidating at its most basic. You have media for a sequence scattered across multiple hard drives. You could then take that if you wanted to back the project up and consolidate all that media onto this new hard drive, all that media will then be copied, obviously handle lengths will be taken into account, and be put onto this separate hard drive. Okay, but let's talk about consolidating a little bit differently. Let's say hypothetically I had a whole bunch of clips, let's just say, let's just say hypothetically I had 100 clips in this bin that were scattered across multiple drives. And I realized that, you know what, I need to take these clips with me you know, let's say I'm going to go home and work on this project from home. And I really just want to make sure that all of this media is located on that external hard drive for me to take with me. Well, no problem. All I need to do is simply select all that media. I'm just going to deselect the sequence. Again, right click. Let's come down to consolidate transcode. Again, we want to consolidate. You'll see now that we've lost the option for the handles up here at the top because now we're just talking about basic media. Now, this is what I really like about Media Composer and Consolidate. Now, what's important to keep in mind is that consolidating has been around way longer than transcoding has because transcoding really only became available to us when we, were, when we had the ability to AMA link to media. But what I now have the ability to do is to basically say, okay, what I want to do is take all of these clips and I want to move them to whatever drive I happen to you know, need them to go to. And what I can do is if certain clips are already located on that drive, I can just tell Media Composer to skip the native media files that are already on that target drive. So it's not like it's going to do the work twice. And of course, once it's taken all of this media from all these other drives and it's copied it onto the one drive that I'm going to be taking with me, I'm going to want Media Composer to delete that original media so that it's gone from those other drives and just ready for me to take with me. Because obviously, if I don't select that, everything is going to be doubled up. So there's another example of where consolidating comes in very handy. You wouldn't want to transcode and you really wouldn't want to start right clicking on files and saying, show me where the file is and you go into your media drive and you're going to start copying things that way. Forget it. That's going to take too long. This is a quick way just to say, oh, you know what? I transcoded all these clips onto the wrong drive. Let's just consolidate them back over to this correct drive. We're not recompressing anything. We're just going to basically move them back over from one drive to another. Now, here's a third example of where I use consolidating all the time, okay? So let's just say hypothetically, I've got one of these shots here that's fairly long, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a few subclips here. Now, I don't have a shortcut map for subclips, so I'm just gonna hold Option on the Mac, Alt on Windows, and just start making some subclips here, just like this, okay? Nothing too crazy, okay? 
Now, again, I'm using you know a clip that's, I don't know, I think this clip's like 30 seconds long or something like that. The real example of this would be to use a clip that's, let's say, 30 minutes long, 40 minutes long, that you really just wanna go through quickly and just isolate all those takes that you really wanna use. Because maybe the cameraman was just rolling wild, pardon me, not the cameraman, the camera operator, obviously, you know, male and female camera operators out there. You know, let's just say they were running that camera wild and you've got just an absolute ton of stuff that you don't need, you really are only going to need five minutes of 40 minutes. Now, most people think, oh, Kev, I've got, you know, I've got tons of hard drive space. It's not even an issue. But, you know, when you start getting into, you know, uh, Ultra HD, 2K, and 4K, the hard drive space is going to be, you know, obviously going to become very important. You know, so you're going to want to make sure that you keep everything as nice and organized and consolidated as possible. So what I can do with these sub clips, you're going to notice that as soon as I select them all and I again right click and I say consolidate transcode, guess what I now have back? I now have back that handle length option because Media Composer knows that these clips are a little bit different and they're coming from a master clip that does have the option to give me handles with each one of these shots. Think of it as pre-roll and post-roll if you're digitizing. I always like to actually give myself a little bit more than I think I might need, just in case the producer says, oh, can you go back half a second and start from there? Oh, no problem, we're covered. Again, all the options that I have here, again, are the same, but what I would want to do in this case is probably you know, not necessarily delete the original media file. I would probably want to do that on my own, and I could just say skip the native media files on the target drive if I want to, even though I know that there wouldn't be any, because this is basically creating new clips for me. And what I could do is, well, why don't I just do it right now, is let's actually consolidate this. Now, what's important to keep in mind is that because I'm not going to a different hard drive and I am going back to the same drive that this media already lives on, I don't want to skip the native media files already on the target disk. I actually want to deselect that. And I'm simply now going to say consolidate. And you're going to see that what's going to happen is, is that in a matter of seconds, what I'm going to have from that master clip, I'm just going to just remove all these sub clips now that I don't need anymore, is I now have these clips as individual media files just like such. So as you can see we have three different implementations for consolidation. We have the example of a sequence that we want to take and we want to move all of that media that's scattered across all these different hard drives to one you know external hard drive for us to take and use as a backup to stick on a shelf. The second example I gave you was that if you had digitized or imported or transcoded clips onto multiple hard drives and you wanted to take all those clips, and let's say hypothetically you're going to be taking those clips you know, on the road with you and you want to move them all onto a separate external hard drive, you can use consolidation to do that because again, unlike transcoding, you're not going to be recompressing these files. You're simply going to be taking them and copying them. You're basically going to be taking them and moving them all together, consolidating them all into one new location. And the last example I gave you is the example of a cameraman, camera operator, goes out and shoots half an hour to 40 minutes worth of footage that you really only need five minutes of. And consolidation is a quick way to come in, make a few sub clips, and then take those, consolidate them into new media, and then get rid of that 40 minute clip to really save up on your hard drive space and only have to deal with the footage that you know that you're gonna need in your show. Okay, so I hope this clears up consolidation and exactly what it is and how you're going to use it. Remember, in its most basic, it's going to be used to deal with media that already exists as MXF files in your Avid Media Files folder on your hard drive. In our next lesson, we're going to look at transcoding and how it's an essential part of your AMA linking to. I know it's now called link to, but I'm going to call it your AMA linking to workflow, especially if you're dealing with multiple frame sizes, multiple frame rates, especially once you start getting in larger than HD. Transcoding is an essential process to make sure you get the absolute best performance out of Media Composer. And every time you hit the spacebar on that keyboard, you know you're going to get real time playback every time. Now, before I wrap up this lesson, I want to thank our sponsor Video Guys, and don't forget to check them out and use coupon code MC101 for 5% off your Avid purchase or any other purchase including G Technology Storage, software plugins, and so much more. And if you like this tutorial, please click that subscribe button and don't forget that if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can post them in the comment section below this lesson or you can send them to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.